Hello everyone and in this video we will learn how to parse some uh, links from uh, uh, a text and then we can make them clickable so we have a demo right here I'm gonna zoom in and we have a text and this text have a bunch of links of course you can apply this to other uh, things like if you have if you are working on a social app you may have some tags you can tag your friends on a post or something and you may want to make this tag clickable so if i clicked on my friend tag or name or username right here i can go to his profile but for this specific example we are just gonna go with link so we have a long text and this text have two links so we have this google.com and we have android.com and it's clickable so we style them and make them red and if i click on this we're gonna open up the link it's just uh, using an intent we're gonna open the link in a browser so we have google.com open up right here and if we go back we can for example click android.com and then we can choose our chrome again and it will open uh, the link for us so this is the demo of the app it's going to be very straightforward so yeah let's go ahead and see our ui it's just the main activity activity main xml we have a text view called it text view and nothing here just a hello world text so in our activity file i enabled the binding so not to use the find view by id of course you can use it but uh, it's more easy to use view binding so the first thing we have this string and this is just a hard coded string i have it right here and I included some links here we have google.com and we have android.com of course in a real world app you will have these links coming from a server maybe you have an api that get a list of posts and in the post description the users can have text and links together so you want to make those links clickable so the first step is to create a method for that and we're gonna call it a clickable links so i will pass this uh, string of course this can be a long string and it have a text and it have some links so we want to match those links and style them and make them clickable so this is the method we don't we didn't create it yet so let's go ahead and create it it will just take a normal string nothing fancy here and the first step here is to have a try catch block because errors can happen when we match the links errors can happen if for example when you go to click on google.com and the app doesn't have or the phone doesn't have a browser or something like that it will throw an exception so just in case we will do it inside a try catch block so first thing we will use the spannable string and we create a spannable string from this long text and call it is banned and it's bannable in string is just a string that you can customize some portion of it so if you have to identify some part of that string we can change its color and make them clickable so we will use spannable uh, string and we create a spanned string from this normal string and then we need to create a matcher and uh, for this specific use case we want to match only the links so if you know what uh, regular expression is this is basically it so now we want to match this link so i need to know in which part of the string we have link so we have it here and we have it here thankfully we have inside the patterns class we have a web url regular expression and then we're gonna call matcher so this is a built-in regular expression to match those links so we will just have the links we can grab 
those links from this long text. So we will create two variable here for the match start and match end just to keep track of our indexes because every link for example this link starts here and ends here so we only need to customize or color this portion of the string so let's go ahead and the first thing we will do is inside the while loop we call matcher.find so this find method we will try to match all links all links so we'll try to match google.com first and then we have android.com first so whenever this matcher.find have result that means we have some match we have some link and then we can process it and make it clickable and so on so we need to match it first and find if we have a match and if so we will set the match start to the match start one for the first group or the first match and then we will set the match end to matcher dot end matcher dot end right here so we will match from the start of the string to the end of that string and the next step here is to have this url and as long as we have the start index and the end index of the match we can get the subsequence we can take the full string right here and we can only get this part and then the next time we can get this part too so from the long text we can do a substring using the match start index and match end index so this is how we have the url for example first we will have google.com so we have the url we grab it using the start and end index and then we will do some best practice here just in case if the url doesn't have an http uh, prefix or also doesn't have an https prefix we can simply attach this to the url so we will prefix it with an https in case that url doesn't have an http or https so we have the url we applied some uh, matching right here and the next step here is to create the clickable span and the clickable span is just an inner class or an object in kotlin and it be just an object and it will extend clickable span and this clickable span have two methods we need to override so the first method is called on click so what should happen when we click on one of those links simply we will use the intent action view right here we have intent action view and we will pass uri.parse using this intent and then we can just start this activity so simply we will call an intent to start or open the browser if we have when the link is clicked so the next method is the update drawable state and here you can customize or style that portion or that link so we will simply do the text paint dot color and we're going to color it in red and then we also we need to make this underline text to false so by default the spannable uh, link or the clickable link is underlined but it looks ugly so we'll just simply set it to false so we have this clickable span this is like a callback and we create it and the next step we need to attach it to our uh, string this is specific url or this specific portion okay so we will we just parse the url here just to start that browser so we only needed the url right here just to send it to the intent and start it nothing more and then we will use span dot set span so this is band object we need to set this span so we identify the span we have this clickable span we will pass it and then we will pass the match start and match end so the 
this is where the text can be clicked in those two indexes and finally we will set span dot span exclusive exclusive so here we can simply close the when statement so we can close the when statement and we will try to match all the links we have in our text so that's almost it final step here is to set binding the text view we will set it to the spanned object so we we'll set the text to spanned object eventually and finally we we'll set the link movement for that text view link movement method dot get an instant and this will just help the text to be clickable and finally we can simply just uh, close the catch block right here if we have any exception we can just uh, print it and we can close those brackets so we can start let's go ahead and run the application so we have this app right here so the launch has been successful and as you can see we have our links identified with red and they can be clicked if we clicked with google we'll try to open it in a chrome or ask you for your default browser and if i clicked on android.com or any other links we have it will open that link for us so that's all for this video thanks for watching have a nice day.